Welcome back, Team Ninja. We're here with Seven Ninja Studios, and we're going to be painting a Space Marine Salamander today. Salamanders are one of the first founding legions. We've got their colors popping up there on the bottom of the screen. They're mostly green. We're going to do a little bit of dinge around the feet. Uh, we're also good. So for the green, we're going to be starting with Warp Lightning for the highlights, Orc Flesh for the primary green. We're going to be coming back and doing the shoulder pauldrons and the rubber undersuit with Black Templar. We'll be using for the flame effect and in yellow, Blood Angels Red. For the leather parts, instead of snake bite leather, we're going to be using Wildwood because we want a darker effect. And for the face mask, we'll be using Skeleton Horde. In addition to those colors, you're probably gonna want a standard black um, acrylic paint, and you're probably gonna want a standard white acrylic paint, as well as a gold, whatever gold you prefer, um, and, you, and a silver. You'll also want one of those. So as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm applying the Warp Lightning uh, with a little bit of contrast medium uh, delicately over the top, just the very highest parts, the very top of the helmet, the very top surface of the backpack, and the very top surfaces of the arms and the feet. Those are the brightest parts, the parts that are going to get the light the most. I'm not doing the shoulder pads because the shoulder pads are going to be black, and so there's no reason to highlight them green. At this point, we're now going to jump in with the orc flesh, and we're going to do a nice, thick coat of orc flesh over the entire model. Uh, we're not going to worry about getting the shoulder pads, we're not going to worry about getting the gun, uh, and we're not going to worry about... And here I get the shoulder pad, but we don't need to. Um, and we're not going to worry about getting uh, anything on the leather pouches or anything like that. If we do, we'll come back and cover that up. But So for now, we're just going to put a nice thick coat so that we get some good recess definition. I have found the thicker you apply contrast, the more definition you get. And now that our greens had a chance to dry, we're going to come in with our white and we're going to do a little bit of cleanup that's pretty much, you know, fairly standard at this point. Um, it's much easier to apply the paint and clean it up later than to worry about being super, super careful. Although there are a few spots here where we are going to have to be super careful when we get to doing the flame effect. Thank you. 
Now we're going to take a little bit of our black Templar and we're going to go over the primary shoulder pad. We're also going to be going over the gun and the parts of the model, uh, the undergarment, uh, the rubber undersuit uh, the, in the joints. Uh, we're not going to be going over the secondary shoulder pad just yet. There's other colors. We're going to do a fire effect on that. I'm really excited for this and uh, I think it's going to turn out really great. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into that. Let's, so with just a simple coat right there, being very careful to leave the green trim intact. And then we're going to go over the gun. Now we're going to work on that second shoulder pad. To do that, we're going to need um, Contrast Medium, Yandon Yellow, and Blood Angels Red. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to take three separate brushes, one for each color. That way we don't get any color mixing inside. We're going to coat this entire shoulder pad, uh, that's his right shoulder pad, uh, with uh, Contrast Medium. It's completely clear and it's just a flowing solution. Now we're going to take just a little bit of Blood Angels Red. This is a very powerful color and we don't want too much. We're just going to put it there at the top of the shoulder pad. You can already see as soon as I touched it, it started to flow. And now we're going to take that Lamy and, or that end in yellow uh, and run it as a line across the bottom. And now we're going to very gradually bring it up into the contrast red. And you can see it's a little bit streaky and that's perfect because we want fire and fire is naturally a little bit streaky. So we're just going to finish out those edges. When you, you notice we are very careful about which brushes we use for which operation. And now that our brushes are contaminated, we're not putting them back into the solutions. We're going to pull that red up to the top because it was starting to pool towards the bottom. And we're going to hold this guy upside down for a little bit. And this is the most challenging part. So we have to hold it upside down to keep that red from flowing towards the bottom. And we don't mind if the yellow flows towards the top, but we don't want that red because it's such a powerful pigment to overpower the rest of the object. So this now just needs a few minutes to dry. Uh, and it's going to take a little bit longer to dry than uh, uh, it might. Uh, and while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit a couple of the details like the buttons. We want one red button, one yellow button. Uh, things like that to draw attention to the yellow and draw attention to the red. Uh, note that you can also do this effect on a knee pad if you'd like. Um, doesn't matter which knee pad. I typically like to go with the knee pad opposite the one that I used on the shoulder pad, but we're not doing it on the knee pad this time. We're just going to do it on that shoulder pad. As you can see, everything's had a chance to dry. So now it's time for us to go ahead and go in. We're going to take a little bit of gold. Uh, salamanders like gold iconography on their torsos, according to that opening image we showed. So we're going to do that skull and crossbones there in gold. We're also going to freehand on the salamanders logo onto the shoulder. And that's just drawing uh, a couple of lines.
and we're going to blacken the base while we've got the chance. This is where our fire fire ugh, I can't talk. This is where our fire effect is really going to come together. Uh, we're taking this black templar, which is, as we know, quasi translucent black. Starting at the top, we're going to pull it down in wavy lines and shapes, letting the bottom of it stay pointy and leaving these pointy details. We're going to let it stay translucent too, so that. Some of that yellow, and you know how fire looks, is, is sometimes it's it's thinner uh, and sometimes it's brighter. So we're just going to pull that down and we're going to leave that, look at that, looking like a flame effect inside and underneath that black. And you can see that didn't take very long at all. I think that took about 10-15 seconds. Just a little bit more black to darken in some of the areas where the yellow still shows through. And we've got a fire effect on the shoulder. Now it's time to freehand in that pattern like I talked about a few minutes ago. Uh, the salamander's pattern is pretty much an open dragon mouth, and it can be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I go through uh, a little bit of work trying to make it work. Uh, if you've got transfer sheets, I, I strongly suggest you use a transfer, especially if you're painting an entire army of these things. You've got 50, 60 space marines, and you want to get them done quickly. Transfers are a better way to go than freehanding it, but freehanding it, you will definitely... Um, impress your friends and impress your, your opponents. that guy right here uh, and that's just putting the the product on the base don't worry it's it's not anything super fancy you can base models uh, any way you like uh, I happen to like to use the uh, uh, the GW technical colors here like the Agrell and Badlands and so forth um, I want to thank you guys very much for watching I'm having a great time doing these videos we're about a month into our production and we're just having a blast so thank you very much for the support you've shown so far uh, don't forget to leave a like feel free to leave a comment I'll reply to as many of those comments as I can um, and since I don't get very many comments that's easy uh, leave a like hit that subscribe bell do the things youtubers do you know join team ninja don't forget to check us out at 7 ninjastudioscom where you can see preview photographs of the models that will be coming up in the next few weeks and if you check out our Patreon Patreon, you can see previews a week early of the videos that we do. And that's at uh, patreon.com slash 7 Thank you very much. I hope you have a great time taking your army from gray.